What's going on guys? It's Alex from RoofTentInsider.com and today I kind of want to talk about five things that I hate about my rooftop tent. Now I usually like to keep it light and positive but there's definitely some things that I've noticed um, that are not so great when owning my rooftop tent and I thought it would be super helpful to share. So with that said, let's hop right into it. Now the first thing is definitely the ladder and this is more specific to me but sliding ladders are very popular and honestly they're just a pain in the butt. Like they're super hard to unlock. There's these knobs right here that you can see that just are a complete pain in the butt. So if they're not perfectly in the pre-drilled holes, then um, they won't lock in place. And then the tracks get dirt and mud in them over time. So then they're a little sticky and hard to undo. And it just adds a lot to the setup time. So that's definitely a con. But if I had the choice, a telescoping ladder would definitely be the way to go. And um, I know it's just a lot faster and even safer too. So it, they're coming more and more popular and definitely more of a standard as competition heats up between rooftop tent brands, but it's definitely something I really don't like. And then even having to just go to the bathroom at night or try to get the dog up in the tent obviously makes it a huge issue, but it's kind of what we signed up for, but that kind of plays into the ladder not being my favorite thing about having a rooftop tent. Next is having limited maneuverability. And what I mean by this is you can only really go where your vehicle can take you. So let's say you find a really nice campsite, but it's you know, the road ends 50 feet short of the lake or wherever you want to camp. Well, with your car, you can't get there to whereas with the ground tent, you can just hike it over and, you know, plop it right next to the lake, which is really nice. So it happens every now and then, um, but it's really not the biggest thing. But when it does happen, you're just like, ah, I wish I wish I could get right there and have that perfect view. And sometimes with a rooftop tent, you just can't get there, unfortunately. When you find that perfect camping spot, you want to hold on to it. But if you're looking to explore, whether it be kayaking or mountain biking, whatever it is, and you need to leave your campsite after it took you two hours to find the perfect one, um, you know, you could come back and it could be gone because you have to pack up your whole camp. And if you want to explore or drive anywhere, then you have to leave that campsite and risk the campsite being taken. So that's definitely happened to us and it sucks when it happens, but you know, with a ground tent, you can just leave it there. And when you come back, your campsite's still reserved in a way. So that definitely is a negative in my eyes next is the setup process which i will show here in a quick time lapse but it takes me forever <laughs> to set this thing up and it's really not that bad i still think it's quicker than a regular ground tent but this is more specific to my situation since we do have a foldable rooftop tent um, but many people do and the process just takes a little bit longer than i would like to i always forget to undo one of the straps or um, the ladder really makes it difficult and our vehicle sits so high um, actually like over eight feet tall is how high the uh, the tent sits and that makes the process really difficult to set up so if you have a shorter vehicle it'd probably be a lot easier but i'm about six feet and it's just it's really rough trying to get it done and it's honestly like a workout after 10 minutes or so i'm sweating and i'm ready to relax so it's definitely a negative in my eyes but if you go with the hard shell rooftop tent you can pop that sucker up in 60 seconds and it's just super easy so that's what i would go with if i had a choice and definitely an upgrade i'm looking to make in the in the future next is storage and as you can see it's a sizable tent um this is a two to three person tent uh it's not you know very big i mean there's some that fit four to five but anyway it weighs about 116 pounds give or take and really realistically like me and my girlfriend trying to take it off and store it is just too much work for us so we just leave it on year round um, but you know that does hurt gas mileage and adds a little bit of wear and tear onto the vehicle and i actually have another video on that that i'll link to in the description below that you can check out if you want to learn how to decrease uh, the amount of drag that your tent produces while driving um, just try to boost that fuel efficiency just a itty bit um, but it does make a difference but anyway it is there's really not a way to store it rather than just leaving it leaving it on uh, the vehicle for us so that's definitely something that's just kind of frustrating but it is what it is if you guys did like the video and find it helpful at any point please throw a thumbs up uh, just to spread the video to more people it helps out a lot and then also subscribe to the channel we come out with camping videos rooftop tent tips uh, overlanding stuff you name it that's what this channel is all about we come out with weekly videos and last but not least is the cover and this is definitely specific to all soft shell rooftop tents but getting that cover off is a pain in the butt one because it's velcro uh, so if it's a zipper i would definitely like that a lot better but nonetheless, you get a bunch of bug guts on it. <laughs> it's really gross. As you can see here, I'll show you guys. It's pretty gnarly. Um, and I mean, it's easy. You can obviously rinse it off really quick, but 
when you know you drive to the campsite and you know you're not going to rinse it off while, while you're camping so you're going to be getting bug guts on you whether you like it or not and obviously with a hard shell that's something you can avoid as well so some of these things are definitely soft shell, shell specific and some are just towards rooftop tents in general but both are really things that i have come to not like so much so you know i like to try to keep it light on the channel but nonetheless there are some cons with rooftop tents but that's just with everything in life. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.